Uh, I'm just kind of like searching for anything interesting. And I think this is gonna be good. It says the most surprising thrift store finds. Okay. Oh, like I'm guessing. Okay, I don't know what the video is about, right? But I'm guessing it's on like. Sorry, I'm gonna guess that it's on like in the thrift store. Someone put like something very like you know expensive really really expensive that you could like sell just i don't know i'm just I'm just playing around i'm guessing so you never know what you might find it in a thrift store <coughs> one man bought a vhs tape labeled a song a surprise when he popped it into his vcr at home he got just that a very funny surprise another man found a 19th a 19th century photo of what may be Billy the Kid, the notorious Wild West outlaw, and a couple of North Carolina, uh, sorry, North Carolina, and a couple in North Carolina, 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 Carolina. What is wrong with me? Found a cassette tape of Michael Jackson's bad album, autographed by the King of Pop himself. What? Yo, you can sell that, man. <laughs> Whoever put those dogs in there is a terrible person. But what if the VHS was the same tape as the ring? Ooh. Wait, wasn't the is the ring like a movie that I that was popular then, but I don't really remember. Oh, so sad about the man's ashes. Glad is on his back with his father now. Oh shit. This stuff really gets dark. Okay. Here are some of the most surprising things people have found in thrift stores. First up, it's a VHS tape mystery. This old cassette was labeled a surprise along with a kind of creepy smiley face. A 33-year-old computer programmer didn't know what was on the tape when he spied it at a thrift store. I just, you know, threw it in the bag of stuff I was buying just to see what it was. He taped himself putting the tape into his VCR. Remember VCRs? Initially, he got static. A bit like the horror film The Ring. In that film, if you play oh, a cursed okay. VHS tape, you die in a week. Seven days. Wait, what's it called? The Ring. Okay. Uh, I'm about to jot that down. Seven days. <laughs> You're thinking, what could be on this tape? Yeah, you know, I had no idea. So what great I mystery so was revealed? The way was you it? pop it into the VCR, what do you see? And I'm like, really? It's this? Oh my god. Is this real life? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Did I? That's what it was. <laughs> well, that's a waste of time. Eh? That's it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. Are you serious? Oh, he, oh, oh. he thought he was going to find something. Something big. And he just found. <laughs> You do thought he was gonna find something like oh my god overwhelming or if you thought he was gonna find something like interesting like oh yeah uh you're gonna get I'm gonna let you uh, I don't even know what that song is but wow that's a great meme that's an amazing like well that was a waste of time he got Rick rolled the sweet Rick Roll, yeah. sweet sound of Rick, Rick Astley. I was just shocked. What do you say to the shocked. person who made the tape? They'd say that was a very good joke. I'm, I'm shocked about what? <laughs> I'm so shocked. Like, what do you mean you're shocked? Like, what did you want? You wanted to like a, a, some kind of debt or something? Something that you'll be able to sell? Like, what? Like, what? No, 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 no. What did he expect? I like. Like, forget everything, forget the old joke, and like, let's be real with him. What did you expect from this, like, tape? What did you expect, really? Amazed. Our next surprising find, oh a cassette God. tape of Michael Jackson's bed. But this one appears to have been autographed by... Yo, this one, you could definitely use it for something, bro. You could definitely sell it, bro. Come on, bro. I feel like you could sell it. I feel like I mean, if someone's gonna buy, if someone's gonna buy like a banana on like, on like a wall or something, auction of a banana on a wall or something, like 
this Michael Jackson? I mean, come on, bro. Come on. This stuff has to be... There's something has to be... Something has to be possible. Like, you gotta be able to do something with this, honestly. Mike Jackson himself just opened it up and realized that it was signed. Oh. Amber and Mike Hernan bought the tape for a quarter at the Heavenly Treasures thrift store in North Carolina. They were going to add the tape to their 80s collectible shelf at home. Uh, a signed copy makes their that? shelf just that more interesting and valuable. A Michael Jackson autograph might be worth thousands of dollars, but they didn't care. Having a dollar value on it kind of leads to selling it, which we don't want to do. Right, we're, we're definitely not interested in selling it. Oh, I'm interested in selling it if I have it too. Like, what, what am I, what, okay, uh, Michael Jackson, okay, I, I got Michael Jackson's signature. Like, all right, so what does that do for me? Does that get me money? No, but Michael Jackson's signature will get me money. Like, come on, bro. Here's another story of... Okay, that's it was, that was it won't be a big shout out to the king himself like for that to even happen for that to even be a thing that will happen like that's a big like that's a big deal for me man like i won't love him even more <laughs> there's, there's no way i'm gonna love him even more for him helping me through this honestly thrift store treasure it's the dream of every thrift store shopper paying peanuts for an item that turns out to be fabulously valuable that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened to one guy when he walked into a thrift store and bought an old box of photos for only two bucks oh, randy was browsing in a thrift store in fresno california when he bought a box of old photos and took it home he got quite a surprise i'm looking then with a little magnifying glass i went oh my this guy if it does looks like it's billy the kid Billy the Kid was one of the most notorious outlaws of the Wild West. This truly is like a Twilight Zone photograph. Mm. It appears the kid is surrounded by his gang at a New Mexico wedding in 1878. He's like, Billy the Kid surrounded by his gangs. <laughs> LOL, look at the children, look at the women. Look at all these guys that don't look that they can't throw punches, LOL. A National Geographic <laughs> documentary, Billy the Kid New Evidence, chronicled efforts to authenticate the photo. Questions Ooh. linger about its authenticity, but if it's real, it could be worth millions. Stop, stop, stop. And Don't hype it up, man. That shit isn't worth millions, man. Maybe it's not worth it to me, but it could be worth it to someone, though. But come on, that's gonna be worth millions. Even when... Uh, what's it called? Uh, they don't. They're not even sure if it's real. Come on, bro. I mean, that's even the best. If they're not even sure if it's real, that means you just bamboo bamboozled somebody by taking their money, <laughs> taking their money on some false pre pretense. It's amazing. And this thrift store find was worth thousands, at least, cash on the barrel head. So I came in on Friday morning at 7 a.m. and my the assistant manager was like, okay, here's what happened. A what? woman had accidentally donated a shirt to the Goodwill, okay. not realizing it had $8,000 in it. The woman's Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, what? She donated a shirt that had eight k Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, she donated a shirt, is the money hers? Who the, who's gonna, like, even if you, if you bought that from a thrift store, there's just no, Wait, if you bought that, if the woman got that shirt from somewhere random, is it, it has to be, what? There's so much question. Okay, so let me think about what I'm trying to, my thoughts right now. It's, is the shirt hers? Did she find it that same day, then give it to the Goodwill that same day? Was... Or did she find it but never wore it? Because I feel like if you wore the shirt, you definitely feel something heavy. AK is heavy, right? You would have felt something heavy, then you would have picked it up. And, oh my goodness. Uh, 8,000, like what? But it doesn't, it just, like what? Husband had been using the old shirt as a hiding spot. He said he'd oh. been saving the money to take his wife on a surprise trip. Oh my god. Oh my god. He used this. And she just donated it like that. Oh, oh my, that's so. And I'm guessing the the woman in the goodwill gave her back. Like, wow, that's so. That's such a goodwill. 
Honestly, like, if it's me, eh, sorry, um, it's gone, bro. I ain't telling nobody it's gone, so I'm, I'm, I need money, it's gone. Trip to Italy. The couple called the store. Caitlin's boss asked her to search through the donation bin. And sure enough, there's just the, the shirts right there and the money in the pocket. Phew! I'm <laughs> so excited. You lucky you it, you met her. You're so lucky you met her. Any, uh, <laughs> Me and some other people definitely are not. Well, I don't see the money. I'm sorry. Oh shoot! We we'll be like, we don't see the money. We're sorry. We'll just take the money for ourselves. And you can't put a price on cuteness. A woman in Chattanooga, Tennessee, was driving past a Goodwill store when she noticed a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. It was taped shut, but it was moving. When she stopped to open, oh my God! No way! There was a dog inside a cat. Oh my God! It just reminds me of when YouTubers were doing that whole shipping themselves stuff. Someone really put a dog in Goodwill. What the hell? What the? Oh my goodness, man. You can definitely track that person down now. Right? Like, I mean, they gotta be like tape that... They gotta be like a tape that has to like show that someone was... Someone put that there. Like it doesn't even make any sense. Wait, oh, wait, maybe if it was outside, okay, that, it's we hard to track down. Now. Okay, um, yeah, it's we def it definitely will be hard to track down. Oh my God, it says stuff animal on there. Oh, stuff animal. So, Jesus, man, what the hell is wrong with people? With the box labeled stuffed animals, she found three puppies inside. Yo, if I found if I found this, like I really can't take care of animals, man. So I, I probably wouldn't bring them home with me, but I'll definitely like do something about it. Like, man, you can't be treating animals like that, man. Seriously. Like I'll definitely do something about it. Like I'll like, <clears throat> like me, just saying my like what I'll just do is simple. Just take the animals to like an act a vet. Obviously, check them first. That's what I'll do. And give them to like someone that not obviously not me but like put them in like all this like place where dogs would stay so that someone can take them off after because that's just the best like i wouldn't be able to take care of an animal man but look at how cute they are man oh my god i want to just touch them labrador puppies needed some help so they were brought to an animal center yeah they quickly sure. recovered it's one week ago today that we got these guys yeah. oh how are you gonna be treating dogs like this? this? How are you gonna be treating dogs like this, man? Like, come on, come! On. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! Come on! Like people even people will people will even have dogs than kids, and I just don't get why people still want to treat like. <sighs> oh my goodness! Garbo. This is. Marilyn Monroe and Betty Davis. Oh, she gave her names already. Hey, Betty. Hey, Betty. But the most surprising thrift store find may have been this an urn that once contained the cremated remains of an Arizona man. Uh, Hidden for who knows how long inside a dresser dropped off at a thrift store. Uh, an urn that once housed the ashes of Robert Fanning Jr. The 27 year old took his life nearly 30 years ago in oh, Arizona. Shit. But it was in Florida where Brittany Gaither made the odd yet disheartening find during a shopping trip. Over Just curious to know why someone would even want to take an urn. <laughs> I would want to take an urn from a Goodwill. Like, if I see that, I'm just going to walk past and just like get what I want to get. But damn, really, I mean, that she's really amazing. She's way better than me. Like me, I, I know what I would do with that. I, I know what I would do, like not take the urn at all because I'm not thinking about urns. But it is amazing how someone will just, truly amazing how someone will just dump an urn, an urn in like a Goodwill, like without even caring. Well, Ming, to be honest with you, like I have my mother's ashes are okay. in my, you know, in, in an urn in my home. So it, it was really to me like an, oh my gosh, it, immediately I thought somebody has to be missing. She turned to Facebook in a desperate plea to find the man's family. Within 24 hours, she made contact with Robert's brother, Jody. I had extremely mixed emotions. I was ecstatic that somebody 
had taken the time and the effort to find me. I was sad because I, my brother's urn was in a thrift store in a, an abandoned dresser. So Brittany went to the post office and mailed the urn back to Arizona where it belongs. But when Jody opened the box, his late brother's ashes weren't inside. I, I'm going to go off the premise and, and, and pray and hope that it's the ashes were deposited on the San Francisco peaks like he had originally asked. Robert's wife, Jody explains, was responsible for the ashes. After his death, she moved around from state to state, one oh, makes sense. winding up in Florida where the urn made its way into Brittany's hands. Apparently during a move, um, they were left somewhere. I'm guessing in the drawer. I have no words. I should be saying things, but I, I have no words, man. I think they're amazing people, man, for them to do that, bro. I really do. The urn will now be handed off to Robert's father, so this family can have some closure 28 years later. And I just want to say thank you so much to Brittany and the others that were out of their way to help us. Uh, you'll never know what you've given back to my family, um, that, to, that it's no longer lost. It's it's home where it belongs. Uh, he's really grateful. That's a good thing. Man, I, I would like to personally, okay, actually, that's not true. I can't personally thank. But seriously, kudos to, I mean, as long as they feel better, like, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing, man. As long as they feel better, the girl did a good thing. So, instead of, like, <clears throat> instead of them, like, you know, feeling down for a long time, at least, you know, they have that thought process where it's, like, they have that thought process, like, when they they have the earned, that means the person is close to them. So, I guess that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. But, yeah, man, till next video. Till next video.